Hey guys, and welcome to the RevitKid.com. So what we have here today is just a simple uh, little building. I threw some some walls and rooms, so we got our rooms in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to take the rooms and I'm giving them use groups. And now I'm using SawBim. I, I had SawBim already loaded into this project, already into my template, and <clears throat> so the use group parameter is already set up to these rooms. So if you click these rooms, you can pull it down and you can give it a use group. So this one I'm calling business. I'm going to select this room, I'll call it educational, maybe change this one to assembly. Uh, click here, give this a use group, we'll call this one storage. And click this room, and it's all in the element properties, and call it educational. These are all preloaded, you can do whatever you want as well if you look at the saw bin videos. So what that's doing is it's actually creating our occupancy loads, our water closets, um, plumbing fixtures, lavatories, whatever. So that's great. So you're going through and you have that information. Now you can actually create a colored floor plan out of that based on those use groups. So you have a, a double meaning to all the work you're doing. So if you click room and area on the, on the top right, you can see where my mouse is, and click color schemes. We're going to create a new color scheme. I'm just going to duplicate this one. I'm going to call it use groups. And then under where it says color, if you pull it down, these are all your room parameters. And because I have saw BIM loaded in, you simply click use group, uh, say OK to that. And we have this this setup, and it's already based on the use groups. So as you add different use groups, it won't it'll automatically update. And then you can modify your colors here. <clears throat> you can modify the fill pattern. Click apply and OK. So now you've got that that color scheme. So now let's say you want to turn this into a colored floor plan. Well, you already did the work with the operation occupation of calculations. So all I have to do is click the legend button. Place your legend in here. Under color scheme, you select the one we just created called use groups and click OK. And now look at that, you've got a colored floor plan. So now not only are you doing occupancy load calculations as well as creating egress plans, uh, if you watch the saw bin videos you can see how that's done, uh, you're also creating colored floor plans. Very simple, very easy.